Hi, I'm Gibson. And I'm Wilson. And we're from the Santa Barbara Middle School Teen Press. And today we're here with Pam Osley. So, um, what is one way we can start to let go of our classic physics? Classic physics. Um, probably by paying attention to the new physics, to quantum physics and seeing what they're saying. Just putting more attention and time on that one. Um, so you said that by seeing people's auras, you can tell why they're on the earth this time. Mm -hmm. Elaborate on that. Okay. Um, well, my belief is, and my experience after doing readings actually for 28 years, is that people choose to come here, and there's a certain theme that you've chosen for this lifetime. And um, <laughs> see, it's hard for me not to just start giving you your aura colors. Um, so, but in other lifetimes, you've chosen different experiences. So, you know, you might have wanted to be a, a line and tamer in another one so your aura colors will show up differently you'll be an orange instead of a yellow <laughs> um, how do you define or sorry, how do you define energy energy well um, it's energy it's like it's waves of energy I don't know I mean it's 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 a field of all potential and then there when it moves it's energy so I mean that's what quantum physics is saying it's that it's basically there's no solid matter it's all just built of energy of of waves of information and energy mm. so how do we start to tune in to these other radio stations oh good you mean with parallel universes? Oh, cool. Well, first of all, one of the ways you navigate with them is by um, experimenting with your imagination. Okay? So, for example, if you're living in this one, you know, you're focused on this one. Actually, we go in and out of them all the time, you guys. Every time you make a different decision, every time you choose between, you know, I don't care, wearing red today versus wearing white today, another one of you split off. So, what you get to do is you get to focus. If you want to change it, you focus on the one that's in another universe. Focus on what you believe that that person would be doing. Let's say you want to get, I'll say you're studying something and you want to get an A that day. And you're really concerned that you're going to get a B in, in, in one of your tests or something, right? So if you focus on, if you focus on being in alignment with the person that's getting the A, then that's actually going to move you into the universe with the you that's getting the A. Can you go back in time and change your decisions? Yes, you can. Very good. Yeah, that's a part of parallel universes is going back in time. Past, present, and future. If you listen to any of these quantum physicists like David Deutsch, he'll tell you that um, it's possible that the you that you were a year ago is not the you that's standing here today, but it's still you. The year that the you that that you will be a year from now is still you, but it's not the same you that's here. So, acts that our point of power is in this present moment, you can change the past. And again, this is quantum physics. This is not what classical physics tells us is possible. Pretty profound, huh? Yeah. Uh, how did you start learning about how to see auras? Um, I went to hear a psychic speak, and I walked into the room, and he said, you, up here, I want you to start doing this, too. And I went, what? What are you, crazy? I don't know how to do this, but he threw me, he put me in front of the room that day and said, start telling people what you see about them. And so I started seeing that I was getting very detailed information about people, including I knew a woman in the room was pregnant. She didn't even know she was pregnant, because I saw the spirit of a little girl standing next to her. So I told her that, she went to the doctor for found out in fact she was pregnant and then about a year later I met a woman who could see auras she'd seen them her whole life she didn't know everyone else couldn't see them so I started working with her and I noticed that she would describe something and I go oh that's a yellow okay I get it because I was picking up similar personality traits from people too so that's when I started developing it um, can you change other people's realities <laughs> I love these questions these are good questions so you don't have to change anybody else's if you're in if you're in universe one right now and people are like not being nice to you or whatever you don't mostly what we try to do is change it on the outside make somebody change and be nicer and don't be a bully and that kind of stuff but you're operating in with a belief system in universe one if you change your beliefs and you see that person differently if you go into another universe let's say universe two that person's totally different and match that person exists there too but they match what you believe in that reality it's kind of complicated isn't yeah. it so just out of curiosity what do you what do you see about us you got, well that's a great question okay so first of all which which one are you I'm wilson. wilson right okay so wilson you've got yellow and tan in your aura, which is so cool, and a little bit of violet out here. This one's got yellow too, and it's based on your name, and I just remembered. Gibson. Gibson, that's right, thanks. See, I remembered it earlier. So, you both have yellow in your aura, and yellows are really nice guys. They're pleasers. They want people to be happy. They like either doing creative projects, or 
they like doing healing projects, or they like doing physical things like sports, okay? Yellows are really nice. Like, you've got the pleaser yellow, you've got more of the stubborn yellow, okay? It's like, okay, I'm going to do it my way, right? You've got a little bit of tan in your aura, which will make you grounded and practical and analytical and try and figure out the details and the information for it, right? Um, I'll get to your violet in a second. You've got some violet in your aura, too, um, and a little bit of green. That's interesting. Usually, greens want to do things like business, okay? Like, you know, maybe I'll do math, or maybe I'll do business, or maybe I'll work for a company, but yellows usually want have more freedom, okay? Um, and then you've, you've, both of you have a little bit of violet in there, which is interesting because violets want to make a difference on the planet. They want to help people. They're humanitarian. Usually they want to go travel. Do you understand? So I see them involved in either the media, like this, or I see them getting in teaching or psychology, okay? Or, which both of you guys could do that, by the way. You know, you, you've got good head for psychology, too, if you didn't want to do business. Or the healing fields, because you've got those aura colors. Or violets get involved in causes, or politics and law. Now, usually yellows don't like politics and law. Okay, it's like, no, oh, I, I want to be a nice guy. <laughs> so does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, you've got, some, you've got some of that tan in your aura, too, which is like, i got to think about it, got to process it. But you may have learned the tan. Okay, does that make sense to you? Yeah. Yeah, fun, yeah. huh? Thank you. Yeah, it was it was nice, nice meeting you. you. Yes, thank you. Great nice questions, you. you guys. Did thank you come you. up with those questions yourself? Um, he no. did a yeah. lot of the question writing. Very good, yeah. you guys. <laughs> Very Thank good. You. Yeah, yeah. You've got violet in your art too, which you can go into broadcasting if you want to. <laughs> <laughs>